Hi there and welcome to today's Quentin Carpenter Nature of Flowers Photoshop tutorial. Today I'm going to show you how to make a floating glass sphere above the sea, as you can see in this image here. What we've got is the image as if we've got one of those glass balls that you take out taking photographs with. We've thrown it up into the air and we've captured this image. Okay, to do this we're going to need to have a photograph and the first thing we're going to do is enhance the levels on it to make it really pop. So we're going to go image, adjustments, levels. We're going to bring the black line into the edge of the graph here and the white line in here. I'm going to move the grey into that area so we've got a nice contrasting picture. Once we've done that, we're going to click OK. Then we are going to duplicate the layer by right clicking and clicking duplicate layer. Once we've got this, we are going to go to our filter menu, distort and spherize. We're going to make sure the sliding bar is all the way to the right and we're going to click OK. And you can see it's made a big sphere version of our image. We're going to rescale this down so it's smaller and place it in the middle. We need to remove the padlock from this area here so we can squeeze it over so it becomes more of a sphere like so. We're going to place it where we want it to go and press enter. Once we've done that we're going to need to make an actual sphere shape so we can get rid of the background bits. We will draw using the elliptical marquee tool a circle shape making sure the numbers are equal or as close to equal as you can get it. And then once you've done that, we're going to turn that into a layer mask by clicking on the layer mask tool here. And you can see it will layer mask out the area. We haven't quite got it big enough, so we're going to go back to the white square on this one, and we're going to make the image a little bit bigger. You see nothing is changing, so we get rid of the padlock. Then we do it, and you will see that the image can then be changed so that it fits how we want it to go. We can make any adjustments to our image here as we like, so we're happy with it. And then press enter again, and we should have everything where we want it. Now, we need to add some shadows to the edges of our sphere to make it look more spherical. So we're going to make a new layer above this one. We're going to get the paintbrush tool. We're going to make sure we've got black selected and a soft edge brush. And then we're going to go along the edge where we want to make it darker and paint in a darker area like this. And then we're going to change the opacity of that so that it just fades nicely into the image to make the sphere look spherical. And once we've done a bit of this, we're going to add another new layer and we're going to do the same thing and add some highlights at the top area. So we switch to white, paint some white highlights in up here. as if the light's catching on it, and again change the opacity of these two layers here, so we can make it as bright as we think it will work. If we want to add a little bit more in, we can add a little bit more. And if we've added too much of the black, we can use the eraser tool and slightly take some of that. Now, the next thing we need to do is look at the actual sphere itself and change the opacity of that ever so slightly so that we can start to see some of the background through because what we want is to give the illusion that it is a floating sphere of glass so there'll be a small amount of the background showing through as well. And there you pretty much have it. There is our floating sphere above the sea. Okay, if you've enjoyed watching this video, have a go at making one yourself and um, 
let us know how you get on in the comments below. Okay, thanks for watching and take care and goodbye.